installed the iOS 26 beta and now regretting it? If you're running into bugs, performance issues or battery drain and want to go back to the stable iOS 18, then this video is for you. I will walk you through the full downgrade process step by step so you can get your iPhone back to normal. Like any beta software, iOS 26 is meant for testing and that means bugs. From app crashes to overheating to serious battery drain, the developer beta is not ideal for daily use. So if you are tired of instability, downgrading is your best option. Before we begin, here are two things that you need to keep in mind. Backups made on iOS 26 won't work on iOS 18.5, so you will only be able to restore a backup if it was made before installing the beta. If your Apple Watch is on watchOS 26 beta, you won't be able to pair it with your iOS 18.5 powered iPhone. Apple doesn't allow downgrading watchOS, so keep that in mind. Alright, let's get into steps for downgrading from iOS 26 beta to iOS 18.5. On your Mac, open Finder. If you are on Windows, launch iTunes. If you don't have iTunes installed on your computer, you can find the link in the description of this video. Connect your device to your computer using a USB-C or lightning cable. Now it's time to put your iPhone into recovery mode. This can be done by pressing and letting go of volume up, volume down and side buttons. Here's how you can do it. Press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. In Finder or iTunes, go to the summary page and click on Restore iPhone. A dialog box might also appear. If it does, just click on Restore. Wait for Finder or iTunes to install iOS 18.5 on your device. Do not unplug your iPhone during this process. Once the installation is complete, you can restore your iCloud backup or local backup made on iOS 18.5 or earlier. And that's it, you are now back on the stable version of iOS. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more iPhone tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.